Alright guys, opening shot there, that's uh, Aka Hanton, one of the uh, the heretic pharaoh. Yeah, nice. A little bit of uh, Egyptology for you there. I was given that by a cousin of mine when I was younger. Printed on papyrus. Nice thing. I ought to clean the frame and get it sorted out. So uh, I'm going to show you how I uh, made these batteries, these 24 volt, 20 amp hour battery packs from 18650 cells. Uh, well, it's not going to be totally thorough, but I'll, it'll give you an idea of how I've put them together and uh, mistakes I've made and so on. So they're coming in, when I've stripped them out of the packs they're in groups of two. They're already paralleled up in two cells so I've left those tabs on. And I'm just going to stick them together. A little bit of glue gun left on that one, just pull that off. Stick them together like that and then two more on the end. So, glue gun's warming up, don't need to solder it. And when we're done we'll get something that looks like this. And then we've got to clean all these tabs up with something that looks like this or some uh, lighter fluid or whatever. And then we're going to put a little bit of solder on each tab. There's a couple I've already done. And then we will join them all up together, parallel them all up. Uh, you can't quite see it, but I've got a little fan just up here. We'll put this point here, just blowing over them once I finish soldering to keep the temperature down. Because we don't like them getting warm. So, here we go. Glue gun. Nice wooden, nice flat hard surface so you can line this stuff up nice. Need a little bit of that on there. Bosh it together, bosh it together, oh yeah. All is good. These are a couple of single cells, these aren't joined up together. They're out of the same kind of packs, so oh, that's a tricky one. Got to do two sides on him. And same again on this one. Bosh him on. Superb. And then we'll just stick these two on the end. Oh. So that's how I'm putting them together. That's giving me, when I finish soldering it, that'll be five cells. In parallel times two, so it'll be ten cells all paralleled up, which will give me about uh, well, 3.7 nominal voltage at about 10 amp hours, roughly. About 200, uh, about 2,000 milliamps per cell. Oh, in that case, no, it's 20. I'm wrong. It'll be 20. In four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, 20. 20 amp power. 3.7 volt. So, when we've made it, we'll get rid of the Spider-Man effect. I'll put him cooling off over here. And then this is one I glued up earlier. We'll, we'll take these prep pads here. These are great if you can get them. You can get them from chemists. They're ever so good for cleaning. It's at pharmacy. Just give these a good scrub off because you get adhesive and stuff left on top. And it makes a mockery at soldering. You get all black bits and tarry stuff in your solder and it's, it's gnarly. So these are great, just give them a 
Give a good rub off and get a mint clean. I'm going to use flux as well, of course, but I don't want all the adhesive getting in. That gives you an idea. So now we're all nice and clean, and then we'll flip it over and we'll give this side a good wiping. Get rid of any of the glue gun spiders that are all over it. Alright, and we're good. Then I've got a little pot of flux. And paintbrush. Just going to have a, a spot on each weld point. Oh yeah. It's a labour of love this, but I quite enjoy it, you know. Get yourself a cup of coffee, cup of tea, whatever's your thing, and kick back. I don't radio on, but I don't like it. Alright, here we go. Let's get plenty on, move it about. Nice. Plenty on, move it about. So, and you just repeat the feet like this for both sides. Getting yourself some. Solder, solder. Our Canadian and uh, American friends like to say solder or solder. I can't even pronounce it right. It's solder, similar to shoulder and soldier. Sol, the sol at the beginning. Solder. Not that I'm having a go. Like, who am I? My English is piss poor. Right. Solder. Yeah, that's it, sorta. <laughs> okay. Bath. Right, so we've got plenty of that on there. And then we'll put him under the fan, let him cool off for a bit. Have a slurp of coffee, slurp of tea. And then these are all the tabs that... These are the tabs that are coming out of the packs that as I'm taking them apart. I wish they were all that good. Most of them are crappy little things like this. So I'm using them to... Uh, Join them all up. So, uh, well, I don't think you need to see me soldering endless little pieces across all of them. You get the idea. And then when you're done, you end up with groups of these in series. Like this. And to solder them up in series, I'll flip them around like this. See if we can move this up here a bit. And I'll, I'll just solder between each of these rows and then I'll literally fold this over like a concertina and bam, there she goes. Job done. And then same again. Turn this cell the other way up next to it, solder across, fold it up, fold it up, so that all the uh, the paralleled solders are all on one side like hinges all, all the way up. And that makes it easier to get the balance leads on and stuff then. This is the one I did earlier. Got all the balance leads down this side here. And they're all connected up like that at two points. So they come in on this side and then they go across. I stretch them across one a little bit longer just to spread them out. And this is how everything's soldered up at the end. So it's paralleled across in, in all directions. I know it's a big long thing, but it'll run uh, it'll run nicely down the bottom tube. Oh, you can just see the hole there, see, look, there's getting a little bit of daylight through it. That's going to be nice with the fan blowing through it. There's all the balance leads coming out the side. Going to have the power leads on the other side, on this side here. So uh, there we go. That's how I'm putting them together so far. I've just got a piece of timber on the back holding them together. It's nice and rigid, as you can see. It's doing a good job. It's like uh, six mil ply, something like that. Yeah, I know it's not fireproof, but uh, by the time that thing's burning, I mean, so much shit anyway, it doesn't matter. All right, take it easy. Till next time.